let's visit with the hummingbirds, the donkeys, and the dogs. It's time to water. Just heading into the garden. Isabel acts like she has not seen water in years, but we just came out. She did run around slightly. I think there was a squirrel involved. Peanut is banished outside. She doesn't have the garden manners. The grapes, although only two or three of the starts have leaves on them, there are a bunch more that have actual roots. Something is knocking them over. I think some of them were just too thin. But I need to come just keep them moist so that they don't dry out. And since it hasn't been that hot this summer, I guess that's a good thing actually because there's no shade in this area. We're just out chilling in the garden with the pepperonis. Oh, poor peanuts. She's going to eat grass and that's not so good. But it's been a little hard to figure out watering this year. Basil. And what I need to do in just a second is go try and fix the fence because the chickens have discovered they can get under and there are grapes and they've left the garden alone all summer but now that there are some grapes that are hitting the ground um, I don't know why they're hitting the ground either um oops, sorry that's my rest because yeah I need to turn on the water there we go um so now that they've discovered that there are grapes around please get out of there they have been coming into the garden and I caught them in last night and then they were in this morning again. And you can see that those little beauties are getting almost ripe. There's some, are those splitting? Why are we splitting? Those are splitting, what's going on here? I don't know what's going on with the grapes. Interesting. So that one, there's a couple in there that are split. And they're not ripe, they're way too tart. Ooh, baby. I don't know what's going on with these. They look pretty though. Excuse me, Baze, I gotta try and get under here. Out of the way, move, scoot. I just trimmed a whole bunch of the grapevines yesterday. But what I wanna do right now is get under here and get this log over to block that spot. Because I really do need to do some more stuff with the fence, but I want to put in a new fence and I don't want to spend a lot of time or money. Of course I've just washed my hair, so now my hair is getting all in the <laughs> grapevines. Oops, let's see. This one is trimmed. That's ow, splinter. Oh, and of course the camera's facing the wrong way. But that's okay. We'll be fine. We need to get out of here. There we go. Hard to do that one-handed. Oops. It's almost back there. Come this way. Push it that away. There we go. Now I can adjust that from the other side a little bit. That should help. Oh, that one's not moving. <laughs> All right. Oh, I just knocked grapes down. Oh, my poor grapes. I don't know why they're falling though. I wonder if that's well. Besides the fact that I just bumped them. Um, oops. <sighs> Basil. Huh. Those are not ripe. These turn like a purpley red color. Not even close. I don't know what's going on. Maybe they need water. I don't ever really water grapes. You don't usually need to, or I haven't usually needed to. These are not for you, young lady. Grapes bad. Grapes poison doggies. No. Raisins worse, but grapes terrible. Back, back. Hey, back, back. Get. No, scoot. She thinks I have treat. These not treat, these death for doggies. All right. Oh, it's so nice right now. It's a little stuffy. I do need to, I'm um, watering. And I do need to, oh, look at that sky. It is almost the last week in August, so the last weekend before It's over, really. Let's see. I have hopeful dog who wants a snap pee. I have 
hornet's getting water. Is that a hornet or a bee? I think that's a hornet. Oh, look at the big bumbly wumbly over here. Hold on. Let's go get a close up of this little fella. There's two of the big suckers in there. Oh my goodness, that's a big one. Look at that thing. Two of them. Bumbly bumbly bees or are those the flies that look like bees? I don't think the flies that look like bees act like that. Let's come over here and get a better look. Oh, hello. Yes, I see you. You're fine. I got a little close to that one. This one's still over here though. Oh, there's a baby one too. I mean a little bumblebee. Little honeybee, I mean. Not bumble. That was a really big one that flew off. Basil, don't try and eat the hornets. You're gonna lose that game. Oh, she wants water. Basil, back, back. Hey, hey, Basil, you. Basil Bell, back, back. You get back, back. Leave it. She thinks I have a treat. I did not say treat, I said back, back. There's a difference, puppy. You are so hopeful, it's pathetic. All right, let's look at the bee again. There's the bee, it's so pretty. So funny, these bees. Oh, there's only one over here. This this flower is definitely dying back. I'll definitely I'll be ready to cut these back. All right, Basil is waiting patiently and Peanut will enjoy also. Peanut also is very fond of the vegetables. I'll give her a baby one because she had a tummy issue. Isabel, come. Come. I ain't just whistling Dixie. I gotta, oh, careful girl. I oh, know I need to trim that. Are you sitting? Where's your sitter? Don't get, sit. <clears throat> You're worried about the bees. Basil, sit. Thank you. She likes hand gestures best, but she should listen. I'm gonna leave it. Ready? Oops, I did a bad throw. Sorry, Baze. All right, let's go give one to Peanut. Peanut the pocket pug, cuter than a bug. She's Peanut the pocket, Peanut the pocket, Peanut the pocket pug. Are you a puppy? Do you want the pee? Sit. Thank you, you big goose. Can you tell me that you want this? Can you use your words? She's so funny. She doesn't really bark or talk when she's outside. Unless Basil gets started. Well, can you use your words? Tell me. Use your words. Can you speak? Peanut, would you like a pee? Tell me how you feel. Oh, tell me. Use your words. Basil's back here using her words. Oh my gosh, she's so funny. Peanut, tell me how you feel. Use your words, baby. I know you're outside the gate, so you're pouting. That's it? That's all you got? You got no speaking today? All right, can you down? Nope, not with me up here. All right, I know I'm on the other side of the fence. You're not used to this, ready? You're totally not gonna catch this. <laughs> See, she's, she doesn't even try. She's such a goof. All right, there you got your pee, baby. Let's move the water. Let's move the water. I need to come in here and trim some. Oh, here's Basil one for water. There you go, babe. What's up here? There we go. Let's keep it over the bed. All right. I have, <laughs> apparently, I missed a, a very large sucker. So instead of single stemming this one plant, it has multiple stems. Ooh, look, there's the hummingbird. The hummingbirds like to come down and visit with me in the evenings, but I think they just like their juice. Oh, I scared that one off. Ooh, there's another one. Oh gosh, three of them, holy buckets. All right, and the sun's starting to come out. <sighs> 
fly be lost? Oh, there's another one flying over. Huh, interesting. Interesting. Well, there's no way you're gonna catch that on camera. I'm not quick enough. All right, I've sprayed these with neem twice. And I don't know what is going on here. So are those mites, leaf miners, powdery mildew. Powdery mildew looks different, but I don't like this and I want my melons to actually grow. So I'm super sad. I don't know what to do. If you know what's going on with my leaves, let me know. Because again, like I said, I've applied neem oil twice. Last one was just two nights ago, so I probably need to come in and do some more. But these outer leaves are looking fine-ish. I have cut off some. I need to cut off some more. Let's see. And it's, it's a point in the summer where plants do this. It's just we've had such a weird summer that nothing has produced that much yet. So I'm a little bummed that <laughs> the plants are looking like this when we haven't gotten a lot to eat from them. All right. Let's see, let's water, let's water. So, I just thought I'd bring you down here with the puppies and the peas and the basil boop boop boops, the big badoober, and show you my new attempt at chicken keeping outing. Again, the cardboard is still working beautifully. They just discovered that they could get under the fence and they haven't done it all summer but the lure of those grapes falling has been too much for them and again i don't know why the grapes are falling um and splitting so they're not ripe yet so they're splitting i'm probably going to give them some water i don't know i just don't know i do know the sky is gorgeous and that it's almost september This little guy was just right above my head, up on this trellis. But now he's over there drinking, because it's just a cute little thing. There's actually three of them flying around, which is slightly worrisome, because they get a little territorial. And we've had more than three before, but these are babies. They don't have their full feather colors yet. Aren't they pretty? So cute. And they, get, they eat bugs, which is a good thing. I like birds that eat bugs. There it goes. But look at this big old bee over here in the artichoke flower. There's a big old bee butt just for you. All right, right now we have one, two, and over at the feeder, which I don't know if you can see, you have three hummingbirds. Look at the cute little things. They're so funny. So this is why we're Hummingbird Hill. Because we have a hill and there are hummingbirds. Though they were missing for about a month this summer. They were here all winter. They did not go away this winter. That's how mild the winter was, unfortunately. Because that means it's one of the reasons we have so many bugs. But... I was worried about them, but I figured they must be nesting because these are little baby ones. And I don't know, I haven't seen the parents with their pretty red plumage. So, oh, hello, let's get over there. Oh, they're having an issue. So cute. This one's just chilling over here. It says, I'll let those two fight it out. And Basil Bell this year. hummingbird with an iPhone. Not super successful. Alright, where'd that one go? Oh, it's gone. It's eating. Maybe they're eating my grapes. I don't know. There it is, little rapscallion. Oh, came back over. No, make up your mind. I am trying to film you. For the people on the Instagram who also like the birds of the hummingness. That's you, by the way. 
silly little bird. Yes, you're a silly little bird. I just called you one. Oh, so pretty. So pretty. One leaves, one magically appears. You're so funny too. Look at you, pretty thing. Look at you, pretty thing. Oh, where'd you go? Over to the other. I'm sorry, I got a little too close. Yes, we're at the other trellis now. With your tiny little self. Little hummingbird butt. All right, I'm gonna get back to watering you. Keep being cute.
it's just sitting up here now. Oh, I'm filming in slow motion, so I wonder what this sounds like. I should probably stop talking now, because I bet it sounds weird. And then it is time to say thank you for joining me here on Coming with Hill in the Garden. I hope you'll come back again so we can do some more growing, talking about plants, watering things, and messing up my hair under the grapevines together. I will see you later. Bye-bye. That was exciting.